hello everyone welcome back to our channel as we were discussing about the basic concepts of the equilibrium so in that we had discussed the lamis theorem so based on the lamis theorem there will be one question for five marks or eight marks to find the weights attached with the string so these kind of problems can be easily solved by applying the principle of lamis theorem so we'll see what is the question if the cord suspended the two buckets in the equilibrium position shown in figure determine the weight of bucket b if bucket A has a weight of 60 Newton means the weight of bucket A is given and the weight of B is unknown. So that has to be calculated. Now this question was asked in the year 2019 as well as in the year 2005. Now A is connected to the joint F. From joint F there is a string which connected at point E and one more cord which is connected at point C. The angle of every cord is given. Now the next bucket B is connected to the joint C. Joint C is also connected to the point F and to the point D. All the angles were given and they are given with respect to X axis. So here we can apply the Lamis theorem because the system is in equilibrium. So before the solution we should discuss the concept of Lamis theorem. It was discussed in depth in the last video. You can watch that video but now we'll just review what is the Lamis theorem. So as per the statement of the Lamis theorem, any of the forces proportional to the sine of angle between remaining two forces. This is the statement of Lamis theorem. So before applying the Lamis theorem, we should check four conditions. Condition one is system should be in equilibrium. So the system is in equilibrium. Second, three forces only. So here F1, F2, F3, only three forces. Third one, system should be concurrent force system. Now F1, F2, F3 are passing through the center. So it is a concurrent force system. Fourth point is all should have the same direction. All the forces are pointed in the outward direction. So it satisfies the conditions for the Lamis theorem. So here we can apply the Lamis theorem. So F1 is proportional to the angle between F2 and F3. That is theta 1. So F1 divided by sine of theta 1. F2 is proportional to the angle between F1 and F3. That is theta 2 so f2 divided by sine of theta 2 and f3 is proportional to the sine of angle between f1 and f2 that is theta 3 so f3 divided by sine of theta 3 so in this way we can apply the Lamis theorem for the three concurrent force system now we'll see the actual figure given in the question paper so here we consider point f or joint f and joint c so we'll start with the free body diagram so start here first show the weight weight always act in the vertically downward direction so this is the weight attached with a so we'll show it weight of a is equal to 60 newton the value is given now this f joint is connected with the joint e here we'll cut this cable at the center same we'll cut and we'll separate out this joint f from the rest of the figure so here we can observe the tension in the cable fe as well as fc so as per the notation we can write the name of this tension is equal to tension fe and here fc what is the direction of the tension tension always act in the outward direction that is away from the center so show the proper direction so here we have got the joint f and the tension Fe is shown here. Now what is the angle of tension Fe with the horizontal 40 degree. The next tension is tension Fc. And the angle of tension Fc is 20 degree. So in this way we have got one concurrent system formed by three forces. Now we will go to the next joint. I will show the tension Cf. So this is the tension Cf here. And the angle of tension Cf is 20 degree. This is the joint C here. So here we will cut this cable also to form two forces then weight force is shown here the weight force is equal to weight of this bucket b it is vertically downward direction the rest of the force is tension cd tension cd the angle of tension cd with the horizontal is 65 degree so in this way we have got first concurrent system and second concurrent system because here we have got tfe tfc and tcd and wb 
four unknowns are there and we have got only two conditions of equilibrium so we cannot solve it if we consider joint f and c at a time so for that we'll consider joint f first and then we'll consider joint c now why we consider joint f first because its value of weight is known one unknown is known that's why we can calculate here tfe and tfc but you, if you consider joint c then tcf wb and tcd three values are unknown so we cannot approach in this way so we'll first consider joint f here we got the value of one force then we can find out tfe and tfc now here tfc is equal to tcf both are same tension in the same cable so it they have the same value but opposite direction so that's why we will follow this approach start with f and then go to c so consider joint f draw the same figure of joint f now we'll apply the lamis theorem so what is the lamis theorem start with the known force 60 newton rest of the two forces are tfe and tfc the angle between them is this one so it is 180 minus 40 minus 20 the next force is tfe remaining two forces are 60 newton and tfc the angle between them is this so this is equal to 90 plus 20 the next force is tfc the remaining two forces are tfe and 60 newton the angle between them is this angle so this is 90 plus 40 so we'll simplify it 60 divided by sine of 120 tfe divided by sine of 110 and tfc divided by sine of 130 now we'll find unknown values of tfe and tfc so for that we'll compare this term with this term so 60 divided by sine of 120 is equal to tfe divided by sine of 110 cross multiplied sine 110 goes here and we'll get the value of tfe so tfe is equal to 65.105 newton same way now we'll equate 60 divided by sine 120 with tfc divided by sine of 130 now cross multiply multiply by sine 130 here so here we get tfc is equal to 60 into sine of 130 divided by sine of 120 so we get the value of tfc is equal to 53.073 newton now as we have got the value of tfc we can put the value of tcf here so we'll consider joint c here the value of tcf is already known from the previous calculation so that we can use here so start with the tfc remaining two forces are wb and tcd the angle between them is this 90 degree plus 65 degree so 90 plus 65 the next force is tcd remaining two forces are tcf and wb now this angle is total 90 degree so from 90 degree if you subtract this 20 degree then we'll get this required angle so 90 minus 20 the next is wb two remaining forces are tcf and tcd the angle between them is this angle so first we should calculate this angle this angle is equal to 180 minus 65 180 minus 65 so in that if you add this 20 then we'll get the total angle we'll see once again against wb two forces are tcd and tcf the angle between them is this angle and this is not a 90 degree angle so this angle will be 180 minus 65 plus additional 20 degree so again we'll simplify this equation the value of tcf is 53.073 divided by sine of 155 it is equal to tcd divided by sine 70 is equal to wb divided by sine 135 now to calculate the value of tcd we'll equate this term with this term now the sine 70 will get multiplied in the numerator to get the value of tcd so tcd is equal to 53.073 into sine 70 divided by sine 155 so here we get the value of tcd is equal to 118.008 newton to find the value of wp will equate this term with this term so 53.073 divided by sine 155 is equal to wp divided by sine 135 so to get the value of wp 
multiply sin 135 here. So we get the value of WP is equal to 88.799 Newtons. So in this way we can find the value of weight of the bucket B. If you want the answer in kg, just you can divide this value by 9.81 so that you will get the value in kg. If you follow the Lamis theorem to solve this kind of numerical, it will take few minutes to solve this numerical and you can utilize this time to solve complex problems in your final exam. I hope you find this video helpful. You can like this video, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.